Hello, welcome again to another video of OBG's Biology. In the previous video, I have discussed about one of the vaccines of COVID-19 disease that is the Covaxin. And in this video, I am going to discuss about another vaccine of COVID-19 and that is the Covishield vaccine. So, if you want to know what is Covishield and how does Covishield work, what are the side effects of Covishield and who should take this vaccine and who should not take this, then watch the video till the end. This Covishield vaccine or CHADOX1 NCOV19 vaccine is formulated by AstraZeneca Oxford and it is being manufactured by the Serum Institute of India which is situated at Pune. In the Covaxin, we are using the dead virus or inactivated SARS-CoV-2 virus but in this Covishield vaccine, we are using modified virus. In the previous video, I have already discussed about the immune system of our body and what is the need of vaccination. So now let's discuss about how does Covishield work. In this Covishield vaccine, we are using a virus that is being modified and the virus is not able to cause any harmful effect on our body. So, we are just modifying the virus that cannot produce any type of disease and we are taking it as the vaccine. This Covishield vaccine is a viral vector vaccine where modified version of the common cold virus or the adenovirus of chimpanzee is being used. If you take this adenovirus inside your body, then there will be some flu-like symptoms like there will be some sort of uh, headache, fever for 2-3 to three days. So, this is actually a harmless virus. So, here the scientists just took this adenovirus and they modified its surroundings or the coat protein of this virus with the coat protein of SARS-CoV-2 virus. Now, the receptors of this adenovirus will be like same as the SARS-CoV-2 virus which is causing the COVID-19 disease. So, this specific coat proteins will be recognized as the coat protein of SARS-CoV-2 virus by our immune system now when this modified adenovirus is introducing inside our body then our immune system is recognizing that this is the SARS-CoV-2 virus and they are starting to produce antibodies against it now you are thinking that we are introducing a virus with the surface receptor of COVID-19 causing virus that is the SARS-CoV-2 virus will not they cause the COVID-19 disease? The answer is no. As we are using the adenovirus and its genetic material is the genetic material of the adenovirus which cannot replicate in the host body. We are just modifying this virus with the coat proteins of the SARS-CoV-2 virus as it will help our immune system to recognize this virus as the SARS-CoV-2 virus and then the, our immune system will produce antibodies against it. This is the main motto of this COVID shield vaccine. Now, the antibodies against the antigen or the coat proteins of SARS-CoV-2 has been generated inside our body and they are stored inside our body. These are the specific antibodies against the SARS-CoV-2 virus. 
so here our body is not recognizing the adenovirus but it is recognizing the modified adenovirus which is now looking like a SARS-CoV-2 virus now suppose after one or two months of vaccination the real SARS-CoV-2 virus is introduced to your body now your immune system will recognize that this is the SARS-CoV-2 virus and now our immune system already know this virus as they have already produced antibody against it so the antibodies will bind to the spike proteins of this SARS-CoV-2 virus and will produce the antigen antibody complex and the antibodies will destroy the SARS-CoV-2 virus this is how this COVID shield vaccine fights against the SARS-CoV-2 virus now let's come to the efficacy rate of this vaccine efficacy rate is the effectiveness of the vaccine means how this vaccine is effective against this specific disease or against this specific COVID-19 disease the efficacy rate of this COVID shield vaccine is 70.4% which is not that much effective this COVID shield vaccine has been approved for restricted use in emergency situation in individuals of 18 years of age and older now let's come to the doses of this vaccine this COVID shield is two dosed vaccine means there are two doses of this vaccine will be given and the time gap between these two doses is four to six weeks means after your first dose you will get the second dose after four to six weeks after the first dose the efficacy rate will be near about 70 percent and in some countries we have found that after the second dose the efficacy rate becomes 90 percent now let's talk about the side effects of this covid shield vaccine so as we are taking common flu causing virus or the adenovirus inside our body so there will be some flu like symptoms will be there there will some short of fever headache muscle ache and there will be pain at the site of the injection and sometimes there will be itching and swelling at the site of injection this side effects will last for two to three days now let's come to the price of this covid shield the price in india of covid shield is rupees 250 to 400 now the big question is should you take this vaccine the frontline workers and the health workers are already vaccinated with this vaccine but you should remember some factors before get vaccinated and the first factor is the efficacy rate which is just 70.4 percent and the second one is the side effects as you are taking a flu causing virus there will be flu like symptoms in your body after taking this vaccine means you will have some sort of fever headache muscle ache so you have to be mentally prepared before taking this covid shield vaccine as you will definitely have some short of flu like symptoms now who should not take this vaccine if anyone had a severe allergic reaction after a previous dose of this vaccine he or she should not take this vaccine and if anyone had a severe allergic reaction to any ingredient of this vaccine he or she should not take this vaccine but before get vaccinated you should mention some points to your healthcare provider and these points are if you have ever had a severe allergic reaction after any drug food or any kind of vaccine or any ingredients of COVID shield vaccine if you have a bleeding disorder or you are on a blood thinner if you are immunocompromised or uh, you are on a medicine that affects your immune system if you are pregnant or 
plan to become pregnant if you are a breastfeeding or a lactating mother and if you have received another covid-19 vaccine these points must be mentioned to your healthcare provider before getting vaccinated with the covid shield vaccine now if you want to take my suggestion or my opinion i will suggest that you can take this vaccine but you have to remember those points which i have mentioned earlier and there is another suggestion for you that if you want to take vaccination for your whole family then first few members should get vaccinated at the very first and then after 2 to 3 days other members should get vaccinated as after taking this vaccine some sort of flu like symptoms will be there so i am suggesting this that first few members should get vaccinated at the very first as they will be getting some side effects and after their side effects will gone then the other members should get vaccinated and after your vaccination you should not take any alcohol for 1 to 2 months taking alcohol will weaken your immune system after your vaccination so let's get vaccinated and fight against this covid-19 disease so thank you for watching the video please like the video and share the video and please subscribe my channel for getting such videos we'll meet you in the next video thank you